Hello, and welcome to Projection 3D version 5 tutorial. Today we will study in detail how to create projection and we'll show you some basic skills to start with. This means that we'll not create anything complicated here. We will make a very simple animation. So if you're ready, let's get started. Create a new composition, 1920 by 1080. Click OK, then drag the image to the composition window. Fit it to comp size. Enter the scene name. OK, now we have to match the camera with the image to find the correct focal length and the place from which the photo was taken. So click Match Camera, and the plugin offers us to create a project. Click Yes and specify the directory where you want to save the project. As you can see, after saving the project, the FSPY application window and the project folder open immediately. In the project folder, we have the FSPY project file. Just drag it to FSPY window. Great. Now we need to match these lines with the image to find the right angle. This will help us adjust the camera's viewpoint so that its perspective in the scene matches the perspective of the background image. So, let's match the green lines along the road line. Like so. And match the red lines parallel to the horizon line, from left to right. Mark the focal length so that it becomes active. Let's make the focal length 35 millimeters. Great, we did it. Now click here and select XY grid floor. As you can see, the Z axis points down. To fix this, in Vanishing Point Axes tab, change X to minus X. Great, now everything is correct. Let's save the work we've done. Now, if you are a Mac OS user, then click F Spy, quit. On Windows, it doesn't matter how to exit, you can just click on the cross. As you can see, the ready-made camera automatically exported to After Effects. Now, for convenience, let's match the grid with the image so that using the grid parameters, we can quickly and easily create the environment. Click here to unhide helper grid, disable scale on all axes, and increase scale along Z. Then reduce it along the x-axis so that the left and right sides of the grid reach the edges of the roadside. Great, now we can create the environment surface using the grid properties. Hide the grid, select the camera and the image, and click Create Projection. The name is already entered, and the number of scenes is quite enough since we have two objects, the girl and the environment. Click OK. Great, the projection is created. Now we need to create a surface on which the image will be projected. Double click on scene two. Now, as I said, we can create an environment using the grid properties. Check right to activate the right side and click create solid using grid properties. As you can see, the created surface exactly repeats the grid. That's why we adjusted the grid. Let's move to the master scene. Press Alt and using the left mouse button, try to move the camera. As you can see, this is no longer an image, but a 3D scene, and we can move around in it. Now we need to separate the girl from the background and find her real position in 3D scene. Since this is already a three-dimensional space, objects within it have a position. So let's edit the projection image in scene two. Click on the first icon at the top of the second scene and choose Open in Photoshop. Wait while it opens. Okay, now select the Remove tool and paint over the girl. Great, we've removed her from the background. Don't touch the shadow. We'll need it when we get the girl back. Okay, save the image. Now let's do the opposite, remove the background and leave the girl. Get back to the source image. To remove the background, click Remove Background on the bottom bar. 
No, that won't work for us. Let's do it differently. Click Select Subject. Then, using the Quick Selection tool, correct the selection. Also here, and the flower. Okay, perfect. Can also click Select and Mask in Refine Hair. And done. Click OK. Now press Control J to duplicate the selection. Great, let's save it as PNG file with Alpha Channel. Type the name and save. Go back to After Effects. As you can see, the changes have taken effect. All that remains is to generate the girl's position and place her in that position. But first, let's convert the environment surface to an OBJ model. As you know, in version 5, it become possible to convert the projection into a real 3D object in OBJ format. It's much more convenient, faster, and interactive. To do that, go to the second scene and select all parts of the environment. Then, in Projection 3D window, click on this plus sign to open 3D Object Converter. Type the name and click Convert to OBJ. Well, as you can see, the whole scene is distorted, and that's not good. This happened because the environment surface is very large and the mesh of the surface we created is not dense. We need to increase mesh density so that the texture doesn't get distorted. Click Mask Non-Projected Areas. Then increase Model Smoothing Value to 8 and click Convert to OBJ. Oh, I forgot to select them. Click Yes to replace the old one. And that's it. Now look how easily I move the camera. Cool, isn't it? Okay, move on. So, we need to find the position where the girl is sitting. To do that, go to the second scene, select bottom plane, and generate position on it. Over here, where the shadow is. Then click File, Import Image, 3D Model, and select the girl image with Alpha Channel. Double click on it and reposition Anchor Point to correct the girl position. Great, all that's left is to make her bigger. And done, the scene is complete. Let's move the girl to the master scene. Control X to cut it, and Control V to paste. Great, let's move the camera and take a look. As you can see, now she is sitting in 3D space. We can move closer to her or move away. All that remains is to animate the camera. Add keys on camera's position and point of interest. Let's reduce the composition duration to three seconds. This is enough for this animation. Hold Alt and using the mouse buttons create a movement. And it's done. In order to move away from the girl and not come closer, we need to reverse the keyframes. So select the keys, right click, keyframe assistant, and choose time reverse keyframes. That's it, the animation is ready. Can pre render and enjoy. All right, this is it. Hope the tutorial is useful and helpful. Thanks for watching and see you soon.